Greetings. Ahoy. Ahoy? <laughs> it's not a pirate ship. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch where you're flinging that thing, man. <laughs> It is way too early. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to another Disney Dining Review. So today we are headed back to Magic Kingdom and we are going to go to some place we've never been before, which is Cinderella's Royal Table. This is for breakfast. I gotta say, honestly, like side note, Magic Kingdom is the hardest park for locals to visit just because of the whole parking situation at the TTC and then monorailing or boating or yeah. whatever, walking sometimes. We have never eaten here before, yeah. mainly because we have two boys and they've never expressed that much interest in princesses in particular. This has always been a princess character dining experience inside Cinderella Castle. It is still a princess character dining experience, except I think it's just Cinderella. Just Cinderella. It's only been Cinderella since they brought back character characters after the shutdown. It used to be multiple princesses. Yes, and for a long while, she just kind of waved uh, like from different corners, kind of like the Beast did. Um, so I don't know if she has transitioned to coming by the table or if she's still just waving, so. This is the one meal on property where you have to prepay the entire amount at the time of booking. So you may be paying hundreds of dollars 60 days in advance because this is a hard to get dining reservation. For breakfast, it is $42 for adults and $27 for children. And for lunch and dinner, it is $62 for adults and $37 for children. And that's plus tax and gratuity. Prefix meal, like Be Our Guest, same price as Be Our Guest, except for Be Our Guest does not have a cheaper breakfast option currently, so that's kind of nice. It if is you, nice. If you want to eat in Cinderella Castle, $42 is a lot more um, palatable <laughs> than the $62, um, and wow. honestly, our breakfast is at $9.55, and our lunch at Be Our Guest a couple, you know, a couple weeks ago was at like $11.35, I think, yeah. so it's virtually the same time. Um, hopefully the food is as good. The food was really good to be our guest. It was just really expensive. Yeah, and it looks pretty tasty. So it, apparently we get some assorted breakfast pastries to start, um, and then we get to pick one of the entrees that has anything from like just a normal breakfast platter to like a caramel apple French toast to mm. uh, shrimp and grits and quiche, which, ooh, I love quiche. Mm. I know. Lots of things to choose from. Okay. So we gotta get going because of the whole process of parking and getting and all of that stuff. So are you ready? Let's do it. We gotta wake up too. Hopefully they serve coffee here. I was here. just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Right by the windows, I have an excellent view of the carousel, um, all of the like castle tops. Like, it's just it's, this is cute. I like this. I can see Beast Castle off in the distance. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's smaller than I thought, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. Included in the meal are beverages, non-alcoholic, and pastries. Look at this pastry plate. This is like this is really cool. Um, she said those are all you can eat, so we can have as many pastries as we want. Oh, that may be dangerous. <laughs> it's a chocolate croissant. It's actually, this is, it's not bad. This is like a blueberry muffin in a Mickey shape. Is it good? It's really good, yeah. That's actually really good. Joffrey's coffee. I am more partial to Joffrey's coffee than Starbucks. I don't, I don't really get the, I like the vibe of Starbucks. Not really the coffee so much. Agreed. So our food has arrived. It looks amazing. Um, I got the quiche. Um, so it has like goat cheese in it. So you have to be a fan of goat cheese. That's really good. 
for a teeny tiny little piece, like it's this big, it is jam-packed with ingredients in there. I mean, there is like mushrooms and spinach and goat cheese, and that is really, really good. We got the avocado toast, and they um, put a whole fresh avocado on here. Is that an egg? Yeah. Like a, like a square of a scrambled egg, which is interesting. The, it does state that the um, avocado toast is plant-based, so that surprises me that that egg is there. It's actually really good. Very fresh. It's very tasty. I'm, I'm pretty impressed, actually. Yeah, I am too. All the silverware is clean. That's helpful, <laughs> right? I mean, you know, standards. <laughs> we have not seen Cinderella yet. We did ask because she used to come out and wave. She doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, so you meet her downstairs, which we have not met her yet. So, um, I don't Our waitress said that she greets everyone, but she wasn't down there whenever we walked through. So, um, I don't know if she'll be there whenever we leave, and, and then we can meet her, or, or what, so. We will see. That pretty much wraps it up. We paid months ago for this, and there's nothing else to do. Um, it's kind of nice to not even have to pay at the end. It feels very all-inclusive-ish. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go see if we can meet Cinderella and wrap this up at home. Yeah. Oh, of course not, dear. That's what I was just telling them. Oh, why they have stress. This is a charming prince you brought to keep you company today. I did, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> we shall have to hope this practice is walk with Cinderella. Oh, it's fine case you attend a royal ball this evening. He is quite the good dancer. Upon exit, we were able to choose either a wand or a sword, which I thought was lovely, even though we are grown people. Maybe we could, I mean, I feel like it's, no. All right. Um, anyway, this is a special touch. <laughs> I actually really, really enjoyed this. We were both a little surprised at how much we enjoyed it. We, like, have, we have specifically avoided Cinderella, Cinderella's Royal Table for over a decade. <laughs> we have never been here before because we felt like it was gimmicky. We weren't into the princesses. And we and, heard the food was bad, actually. And overpriced. None of that was true, honestly. Now, honestly. we went for breakfast, which is $20 cheaper than lunch and dinner. So yes. I'm not sure how I would feel about spending another $20. I feel like we should always have props for mm -hmm. our videos. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> So I, I, I take that for what it's worth. I feel like yeah. this was a really good value for breakfast. And I'm comparing this to Be Our Guest Restaurant, which we just recently ate at for mm. lunch. And it was they're the same price for lunch and dinner. And our experience at Cinderella's Royal Table was not only less expensive for breakfast, but hands down better in every single way, with the exception of maybe the theming being kind of equal. Yes. But before we get started, if you would like help planning your next magical vacation, we would love to help. We specialize in Disney, Universal, all cruise lines, and some all-inclusive resorts. All of the planning is free to you. You can visit us at fantasticalvacations.com. So let's get to it. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing that we did last time, which is um, get rid of drinks because we had the included coffees and waters. Oh, which um, was lovely because it was Joffrey's. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible coffee, it was good coffee. It was good coffee. So again, you have to prepay for this meal. So mm -hmm. when you book it, 60 days in advance, and you better book it 60 days in advance if you want a shot at this thing. Yeah. Uh, you have to prepay for it there. Then when you get there, like they didn't even bring a check because you can order like mimosas um, or some sort of flight thing uh, for an added cost. Yeah. And those were the only people that were getting tickets and paying for anything. I really appreciated it actually because I, I, I mean, we were done and we just got up and walked out. We didn't have to wait on a bill. We didn't have to wait on anybody bringing, like being slow, bringing a credit card, anything like that. You know, you kind of forget about how much you paid for it because you paid for it so far in advance that <laughs> You just, you could just enjoy yourself and you're not like, ooh. Ambiance, how do you feel? Right. So the ambiance I would say is probably a four. Like yeah. it, it was very nice in there. Um, we were, the, my only complaint was that uh, we were very close to the table that was directly behind Dan, but it was kind of because we were the first table like on a, on the curve of the it window. It was like a bay window when we yeah. were the first one in, so it's kind of yeah. where that corner was. Yeah. But if so. you look at the rest of the tables, they weren't like super, super tight. I mean, it was like a normal restaurant, but it yeah. wasn't like you were on top of each other. To be fair, there were a couple of table tables near us that did not have anybody at them, yeah. so I don't know if that would have affected the ambiance and made it louder, but it really, it was enjoyable. It wasn't too loud. We were right by a window, which I mean, 
they must have known we were coming because it was a fantastic view. It was it was lovely. It uh, was. I think a four is is really accurate. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly where to put the characters between um, ambiance and theming because mm. I will actually like the fact that there's not a ton of characters walking in between those tables, but it also devalues the character meal experience, right? That's true. And so so we did learn that um, Cinderella, so she was at one point coming into the, uh, the dining area and like waving, but she doesn't do that anymore. She only does like a meet and greet and she's supposed to be there whenever you come in. So like you get in line to see her, you take a picture. She actually signs autographs if you want. You like get to actually signs autographs. Yeah, you get to spend a little bit of time and then you would go up to your meal. She wasn't there whenever we walked in, I don't know why. So um, so we just told the guy whenever we were walking out that we didn't get to meet her on the way in. And so he let us in the line. Um, so but, easy but breezy. Pre-COVID, there were all kinds of princesses. There was like, what, four or five walking through yeah. the tables, like signing autographs and everything there. I think that that will come back. And I actually personally think that that increases the value of this this restaurant um, whenever there I are more I do too. I, I think it, it, it does a little bit more for the theming, but it takes away from the ambiance a little bit because it's so That's much fair. packed into that little space. Let's do theming. I think theming was really great. Oh, I mean, yeah. you're kind of like Be Our Guest. You're in a castle. It's themed very yeah. well inside from when you walk in to coming up those stairs, that spiral staircase, and you come into that big open like arch, like uh, vaulted ceiling space. Yeah. It's Little Gus was on a little beam, um, you know. <laughs> a little I mean, mouse. Like, you know, just a little attention to detail there. Yeah, so uh, we gave this a four and a half. Um, I can imagine that if you... Um, set where we sat at fireworks time. Now oh. you wouldn't see the small fireworks that are shot around the castle inside the park, but the, ma the main launch point for the giant fireworks is actually behind, is north of Magic Kingdom. And the window face is north. So I, am, I would imagine that you can see fireworks from yeah. that window because you know that it's back there. So I think that would probably increase it to a five. I mean, right? Watching yeah. fireworks from, from Cinderella's room. Anyway, <gasps> okay. so we're gonna give it a four and a half, but just keep that in mind. Then we have service. Um, so our waitress was really good. She yeah. did a fantastic job. Um, she uh, was a little delayed one time filling up coffee cups, but I mean, other than that, she called Dan my lord and me princess every time she came to the table, which- <laughs> I call her evil queen. <laughs> So rude. <laughs> she was a lot of attention to detail, just um, just kind of took care of us, brought us an extra plate of pastries, even without us asking. Um, just, it was nice. Yeah, so yeah, she gets she a four. A, yeah, she did a great job. And, and she did it without ask, like without trying to increase her tip because an 18% right, gratuity, included. we've already paid. Yeah. I would have, I would have honestly tipped her higher than 18%. I probably would have tipped her 25% if she was good. Yeah. Um, if there was any way to give a credit card, I guess I could have ask to run a, cr I don't know, whatever. Could've they didn't, they didn't cash, bring any bill or anything, so food. So I was food. actually surprisingly impressed with the food. So even the pastries that everyone gets, they're unlimited, they bring out, they were pretty good. Yeah, they were. Um, the only one I wasn't totally like over the moon for was the um, croissant, like the chocolate chip croissant, um, just cause I felt like it was maybe a smidge too dry, uh, but the regular croissants were really good. And the uh, blueberry muffins that were in the shape of a Mickey head, which I mean, you're kind of scrunching a muffin down. You could really screw it up by doing that, but it was, it was really good. It was sweet and there was plenty of blueberries. It was really, really good. I got the avocado toast, which was, different not like a standard avocado toast because it wasn't like mashed it was like sliced avocado with like this square scrambled egg thing and then um lettuce but it had salad dressing on top of it which i actually liked and it yeah. added another flavor so I, re I really liked it it was kind of like a vinaigrette type yeah. thing yeah it was good um and then i had the quiche which was loaded with um ingredients like you had mushrooms and spinach and goat cheese all like in there um it was very creamy and yummy and it had like um, arugula and um, i guess like some roasted bell peppers like on top of it i very much enjoyed it and then the hash browns on the side were seasoned deliciously yeah um so we're giving this a four because it was definitely above average but not the best thing we've ever had on property but for a sit down breakfast in a castle for $42 a person, it was good. All of that to say, um, all of that added together, 16.5 divided by four, 
I get another weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 4.125, so it's a little bit above a four. Um, it is definitely above average, and I was like all prepared to. I said I was going in with an open mind. We did, yeah. and we loved it. Um, I would definitely go back here. This is a good one. I suggest, <laughs> like, I I feel bad for never mentioning it or recommending it in the past because it's it's actually a good good meal. Yeah, it's it's funny. We actually got messages while we were there, like from our stories, saying, "I wonder if it's as bad as I remember." it and all of that so it must have improved um, over time because it either that or it's just the, it was like a good breakfast experience I don't know I can't speak for lunch and dinner but look man for I was impressed. so the silver was clean <laughs> the service was good the food was all the food was yeah. good like yeah. it was an elevated experience now, whether you want to pay forty-two dollars or worse yet sixty-two dollars for an adult to go for lunch, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't do that. I would definitely suggest breakfast. Here. I would try for breakfast. This is a better value and a better experience than be our guest. I would, if you could do both, like eat breakfast in Cinderella's Royal Table and then just walk through Be Our Guest Restaurant, take some pictures, see the stuff and leave. That's what I would do. You did not hear that here. <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> it's a surprising one for me. Like yeah. most of the time when we're going into a restaurant, we know that like we, we pretty well know what we're going to experience. This. This surprised me. This was a shocker. Well, if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. We have some really exciting ones coming up. I know I say that every week, but I'm really <laughs> excited about these next few. And we will see you on the next video.